Evening. We are going to uh, tonight talk about toxins and other things. So I've had a bit of a muck up with my computer system this evening. So if you can bear with me for two minutes while we um, get it happening properly. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a few uh, joiners. I couldn't uh stream it directly to the group like I normally do so I'm hoping that it is uh that it is working that it is doing uh what I need it to do so as the picture there says we are going to talk about uh toxins and it helps if I leave my glasses on when I go to read things because I can't see but it's been one of those days and I just need to clean my glasses. So give it a minute. If you are here, if you are watching this, please say hello. I uh, always like to know that I've got people watching and today it is all in the Tea of the Oil Lady page. So I should be able to uh, read your comments and things as to who is here and what you are saying because it's only when it's in the group that I can't read it. But like I said, the group... For some reason, it didn't want to uh, talk to the groups tonight. So no drama. I've shared from the main page to the group. So if you are in the group, I should still be able to see you. You may just have to go to the main page to actually watch it or comment. Okay, that's better. Now I can see. So toxins and air quality, how to freshen the air that you breathe. Now, this is actually a downloadable ebook. Okay, so I've put the link in the uh, description uh, about that one. So you can print it off for yourself because it does have some great info in it. And we are just going to sort of run through that info uh, this evening. So whoever, if anyone has joined us, uh, thank you for joining us. And if you happen to sort of get in a little bit late and want to watch it again, that's all right. It will stay up on Tea of the Oil Lady and I'll also download it and pop it onto the YouTube channel as well so that you don't miss out. Um, there's now, scarily, something like 76 videos of mine classes over on the YouTube channel. So uh, definitely worth having a look. Lots of uh, information there. And the one I've been talking about a lot or referring a few people to recently is Spikenard. I can't well, I can believe it because, yeah, it was only that Maggie had introduced us to Spikenard that I knew so much about it and loved that oil really developed a relationship with it early on in the piece and um, last week when I was sitting at the table with the people from doTERRA the couple of ladies didn't know much about spikenard at all um, which is cool because they've only worked for doTERRA for like a year and you know when you, when you sort of go through the list of oils that you need to know about I get spikenard isn't top of your list. It isn't your priority, but it is a phenomenal oil. So I do have a video on the YouTube channel literally called Making Friends with Spikenard or How to Make Friends with Spikenard because it is a phenomenal oil. Anyway, there is, as I said, a lot of videos over there, but the majority of them have, or the, the later, the last year, I've been uploading them to teatheroillady.com as well so that's the actual website so they're all there there are a few that you have free access to when you go into the site if you scroll down you'll find free access everything else it just asks you to register it just stops you know all the uh the, the strange ones from um jumping in and hacking and commenting and things on my videos i've had a few charmers on the uh, youtube channel so it is it is a thing um so yeah, the it it asks you to register. It literally is just put in your email and your name um, so that I know that you're there. And then you have access to like 35, 40 different classes plus with all the notes and the recipes and ideas, as well as all the ones that we've actually done live, you've got access to the videos as well. So you do have quite a bit uh, if you go that way, if you want to um, jump in and have a look at what is there. So as I said, tonight we are, well, helps if I turn the volume down. Okay, so tonight we are going to do uh, toxins. And as this bit here 
here it says there we go diamond club event so we are in the last week of diamond club so if you are looking at uh getting a kit starting your oil journey with a starter pack then this week is the week to do it because after this there'll still be great great incentives and great oils and the whole thing but diamond club's over so there's no freebies from doTERRA for joining through diamond club there's no freebies from Faye. um yeah there's a lot of extras at the moment for joining through diamond club and literally it does mean that you've got to let us do the paperwork so find the form or just ask for it and i'll send you the form uh fill out the form and Faye will process it through the diamond club portal it's just a way of building the teams and it's something that doTERRA do every year from february through to may so it only goes for a couple of months after next week if you're interested in getting a kit just go to the website again go to uh, the oilhut.com and click on the button that says sign me up it doesn't quite say that but you get the gist you know what what i'm what i mean so diamond club we've spoke about that spoke about the kits you'll start to see i've been getting um the kits up onto uh the social media platforms so about once a week there'll be a bit of a highlight of each of the starter kits because there are some great ones that sort of start at 100 and 180 dollars right up to you know the, the oil sharing kit which is over a thousand so there's something there for everyone there's your first aid oils or your home basics oils there's also one that's specifically for sleeping or one that's for sore muscles uh, so there are some great ideas and something for everybody so keep an eye out for those um the information is always at the oilhut.com anyway uh about all the kits so you can go look there or it like i said it will start to pop up about once a week there'll be a, a bit of a kit highlight on uh on the socials right oh so let's get into this now yesterday or today it should have where's my book it should have popped up onto your page to uh jump in and download this book so this is our basics book this one uh the customer guide book so that one just goes through what the oils are where they come from how to terror test them thoroughly it's got links in there it's got um the foot charts it's got how to use them uh what else has it got in there dilution membership where to apply them, uh, how to apply them, why wholesale membership is awesome. So there's lots and lots of information in that book. So download that. The link for that is on Tea the Oil Lady uh, every day, like, well, just about. It's there every week anyway, and it'll accompany. There'll be a picture like that so you'll know that you've got the link. So that one, uh, download that because we probably won't go into all the specifics that are in there but next week being the first week of the month how scary is that June already but next week being the first Wednesday of the month we will do uh, aroma, essential oils made easy again so that's when we do go through all the basics that are covered in that guidebook as well as sort of the slideshow that I've put together Okay, toxins and air quality. Let me make that screen a little bit bigger so you can sort of see it. Now, I have played with it a little bit. I can't help this one. The book is landscape and my visual is, sorry, my book is, port, my book is portrait and my visual is landscape. So we're only going to see half the book at a time. And because it wasn't made for landscape, sometimes we will have to go up and down so that we can actually see all the information that is in there. But if you're here and you've got a question, please pop it into the comments. I may not see it until I come back to this screen because I have to physically leave this screen so that I can operate the book. Uh, so, yeah, if I don't see it straight away, that's okay. I will come back to it. Uh, I will make sure that I cover it and, yeah, pop any questions you've got into the comments for me. Okay, so toxins and air quality, 
how to freshen the air you breathe. Now, this is, but this has been a little bit of a recurring theme for me over the last month, especially since um, the global convention, because that was when we saw that amazing, or not the global one, the Australian webvention, because that's when we saw that amazing video um, by Lauren Bush that just talked about her two and a half year old who was really sick and nobody could work out why and then they you know they got to the point where they started to look at everything in the house and it was the plugins that made the house smell nice it was the 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 powder that she put through their sheets so that they woke up smelling gorgeous it was the the chemicals that she was cleaning her house with that were causing her two and a half year old to have respiratory problems you know so this is an, an area that I'm completely passionate about like just getting rid of the toxins when I first met um Judith, uh, Judith uh, Wilson, twenty over twenty years ago now, that was the thing, the toxins, and it, she, uh, the information that she gave me just blew my mind. That you know that we had just started using all this stuff, and we didn't know the effects of it because you know the uh, suppliers had basically said, ah. Oh, I've got an easier way to do that. Here, you need this. And so, you know, the, the parents of the 70s, 60s and the 70s started to use those products because they, they were told that, you know, this is awesome, this is easy. And companies made an absolute mozza from them and we're still all paying for the effects of it. So it is really important, not just the air we breathe, but the toxins that our body absorbs all the time. Anyway, I I think that the diffusers every now and then get a little bit, um, uh, you know, just oh, another, you know, you've just got the diffuser on or whatever. The diffusers actually do a lot of really good things. So that's really what we're going to talk about today is how that all works. So let's have a read of this because some of this will just blow your mind. Take a deep breath. The air you're breathing is the essence of life. And the average adult takes between 18,000 and 30,000 breaths a day. Most of the time, we don't even think twice about the thousands of breaths we take. But the air we breathe keeps us alive. It keeps plants and trees alive, which in turn support entire ecosystems and keep our planet thriving. Sorry, without oxygen, we and the earth we live on would cease to exist. Not only it is, it, is it essential to have access to the life-sustaining power of oxygen, but it's also extremely important to be aware of what kind of air you're breathing. Though you can't see it with the naked eye, the air around you is full of microscopic elements like pollens, pollutants and toxins. While you might think the air inside your home is cleaner and safer than the air outside, unfortunately, this isn't always true. Oftentimes, indoor air is more toxic than outdoor air, even worse Many of the products marketed as keeping your home smelling fresh actually spread synthetic chemicals and fumes into the air you breathe. You might be surprised to know that toxins like formaldehyde and benzene are commonly found in household products meant for cleaning and freshening the air. So while you think you're cleaning and freshening your home to keep your family safe, in truth, you're being exposed to harmful chemicals. The good news, the body has incredible filters that can help protect from toxins. However, when you are exposed to too many toxins in daily life, the toxic burden or toxic load can become too great for the body to handle. Conversely, any time you remove a toxin from your life, your toxic overload becomes lighter and the body doesn't have to work as hard to protect you. With a lighter toxic load, we can all feel our best. 
by reducing your exposure to toxins, you'll no longer feel weighed down and can live the happy, healthy life you were meant to. You can take control of your home, your wellness and the well-being of those you love. And we will continue in a second, but I've just got a couple of um, little things to add to that. Um, the formaldehyde. That one is a chemical that was literally banned from, it was in all sorts of things years ago and research has shown what a detrimental chemical that is and so it was actually taken out of a lot of things. But something that uh, Judy taught me years ago was in the things like laundry detergent, okay, in your laundry detergent they don't have to put all the ingredients you know how when you like buy food now, how it has to list everything right down to that one drop of, you know, colour 386 that they've used? They have to add everything to your food. With cleaning products and even skin care and hair care, they don't have to add all the chemicals. They have to put a rough idea of what's in there, but they don't have to add everything. And um, there is a product that's in a lot of your washing detergents that is three letters. Judy might remember what they are. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. But those three letters, when you break, them, break it down and research it and find out what they are, they're actually a formaldehyde releasing agent. Now, if there's no formaldehyde in your laundry detergent, why is there a formaldehyde uh, releasing agent in there? Okay, why do we have all those different chemicals in products uh, that we use on our kids, for example? You know, when I was a kid, yeah, okay, you got soap in your eyes occasionally, you cried, you bitched it, you whinged about it, and, you know, and it was okay. You survived my, well, I wear glasses, but my eyesight wasn't affected by it. Now we have all these beautiful baby products that, you know, no more crying, no more tears or whatever they're called. So there are chemicals added to the chemicals that we're washing their hair with that make it so that they don't hurt their eyes so much. So more chemicals than what there was originally. So surely it makes more sense to use a product that just does the job that doesn't have all the bells and whistles that basically mean chemical overload, okay? Same with your skincare. You don't need 70 products to clean your skin, okay? Two or three will actually do the job if they are two or three really, really good ones that don't have a ton of chemicals in them, okay? So, you know, there's I know like mineral oil takes vitamins A, D, E and K out of your skin. And when that takes that out, that means they've got to add something else in to counteract that. And then that may have to have something to counteract that, you know, like one part of it might work, but two parts mightn't. So the part that works is great. The parts that don't, they've got to counteract those. So, you know, it's a, it's chemical overload, okay? When your body can't get rid of the toxins, it's going to store them, cellulite, whatever, lots of different ways that it stores it in our body. And they're not positive. None of them are positive. If we are storing toxins in our body, it's not a positive um, way to do it. It's not good for our health, okay? Um, so, yeah, toxins are massive. And it says it right there, you know, that we can't, get rid of all the toxins, but we can take control of what we use in our home for our wellness and the well-being of those within our immediate space. So that is something to think about. All right, so rethinking your air. Here you go. I'll give you the pretty picture and I'll read off the, uh, off the book. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, indoor air is often more toxic than outdoor even in the largest and most industrialised cities. How are these toxins getting into homes? Let's say you're walking through the grocery store, going about your normal routine, you enter the fragrance section, 
the aisle with all the air fresheners and plug-ins and scented candles and stop to browse. You smell a few items, add a couple to your cart and go on your way. They may only add a few extra dollars to your bill at the checkout, but when you get home and start using these fragrant products, they add hundreds of synthetic chemicals to the air. What you want is for your home to smell clean and inviting, but using products with artificial fragrance can actually release toxins, making your air quality worse, not better. I know mum has massive trouble with uh, fragrant ones. They, they just give her a headache and they set off allergies. It just It's not good, you know, and we don't need to have them. So how do we replace the toxins with natural alternatives? After evaluating your home, start with reading the labels on some of those scented products. You'll be motivated to reduce the number of aerial toxins your family is breathing. Here are a few simple ideas you can build off. So house plant, here we go, we'll make it so you can see it. House plants. Did you know adding house plants to your space can help purify the air? Snake plants, pathos, spider plants, ferns, fiscus trees and chrysanthemums are just a few house plants that excel at removing pollutants from the air. Take advantage of the benefits of nature and maybe even improve the aesthetic of your house while you are at it. Regular cleaning. When did you last change your vacuum cleaner filter? These type of fil H, I think that's what that one is. These types of filters need to be replaced anywhere from monthly to yearly, depending on your filter and system. Set a reminder on your calendar or your phone to replace your filters often so you're not breathing air that is traveling through a dirty filter. Along with cleaning your filters, you want to do the same for household surfaces. Dust and particles accumulate on carpets, drapes, furniture and more. And so dusting and vacuuming regularly will improve the air in your home, depending on your filter and system. Set a reminder on your calendar. Okay, it has just repeated itself. Okay, it's a brand new ebook, so it's bound to have a couple of, um, you know, teething problems. Okay, let the let in fresh air. Just like how you feel good when you take a big breath of fresh air, your home benefits from fresh air every now and then. Open the windows and doors, and let the outdoor air in. By getting some fresh air in your space on a regular basis, you can improve the ventilation in your home. Okay, and of course, well, I knew this one. Essential oils, diffusing essential oils is one of the easiest ways to freshen the air in your home. Instead of burning a candle or using an air freshener, Turn to the power of essential oils when you want to safely and naturally scent your home. Avoid exposing yourself and those you care about to even more toxins by tossing out the plug-ins and the air freshener, freshener room sprays. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes with clean, fresh air free from synthetics and toxins. Pure essential oils are incredibly to uh, incredibly potent, so it only takes a little to fill an entire room with their aromas. These gifts of the earth are effective alternatives to the synthetic or cheap scented products you might find at the grocery store. Now we'll provide you with some ideas for getting started with using your essential oils aromatically. Oops, here we go. This one. Okay, the power of nature. If you're worried that getting rid of your candles and air fresheners means you'll have to say goodbye to the lovely aromas you enjoy, rest easy. 
because essential oils are so potent and naturally fragrant, they can offer powerful inviting aromas that are even better than the synthetic fragrances you might be used to. It, to make it even easier to enjoy the power of essential oils while freshening the air in your home, doTERRA have created the Aroma Essentials Collection. Okay. Uh, with 10 of the best essential oils and blends for diffusing as well as a diffuser. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, that's all right. We will just talk about the oils because we don't have this collection available in Australia yet, yet. Okay, all the oils are available but not in this specific collection. So we will... Um, come back to the different kits that we've got. Okay, so this we're going to talk about the different oils and what they do. So we'll just skip that one because they, they, they all look like little 5 mil bottles and they're not all ones that we have uh, in 5 mil. It appears like there's the uh, adaptive and then a few other ones. So it is a different kit to what uh, we normally do. So I'm going to tell you about diffusers first. Okay, this one here, this is definitely our most common one. This is the petal and this is the one that in Australia comes with uh, the kits that come with diffusers. So they work wonders for elevating the atmosphere in your home. Uh, they are ultrasonic. All of them are ultrasonic, okay, and that just means that they have, um, they're cold mist and all of them have this little uh, disc in the middle that when that runs out or when there's no water on that, they turn off, okay? So they are a good, safe one to use. And they do have a nice light and you've got uh, timers and things so you can adjust how long uh, you listen, uh, listen to them, how long you have them on for. Okay, let's talk about a couple of the oils. On guard. On Guard is one of the most popular doTERRA products for good reason. It is a blend of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus and rosemary, all of which offer powerful cleansing properties. doTERRA On Guard provides a warm, spicy aroma that can be diffused to refresh the air. You can use doTERRA On Guard in many ways. You might start diffusing it in your kitchen or bathroom when you feel like your family could use its inviting aroma. I use this one at my front door. I've got a diffuser in that space as you enter my house and sort of come in and out of this room and I use it there because that way it helps with the airborne germs and things like that as people are coming and going from my house. Wild orange, a gorgeous one and anyone that joins our team, I always make sure that, that you have a bottle of this. I give you a bottle of Wild Orange. With its countless options for the home, body and mind, Wild Orange remains one of the top-selling doTERRA essential oils. The primary chemical constituent of this essential oil, limonene, is known for its cleansing properties. Diffusing Wild Orange will fill your home with a sweet, refreshing aroma as well as help freshen the air. With its incredible cleansing properties, wild orange can be used all around your home. Put three or four drops of it in your diffuser for a cheerful, uplifting scent. Now, if you find that the On Guard is a little strong, then put three On Guard, three wild orange, and that gives you that uh, the benefit of both of those beautiful oils. Okay, the next one is peppermint. Okay. Throughout history, peppermint has been valued as a multi-purpose plant and oil with its components now used by cosmetic, culinary and health industries worldwide. It has a stimulating, energising aroma that many go to for a quick pick-me-up. When you want to enjoy the refreshing minty aroma of peppermint essential oil, place a few drops in your diffuser and breathe in the invigorating scent. You might even combine a few drops of peppermint with wild orange in your diffuser for an aroma that will transfer, transform 
any room. Peppermint is one that is now listed on the uh, TGA for its therapeutic properties. So amazing oil. Now, On Guard and Peppermint, for us in Australia, On Guard and Peppermint come in the Nature Solution Kit that comes in the Family Essentials and the Home Essentials Kit, as well as the other two really big kits. So um, amazing oils. This next one, this one comes in, in Australia, this one's actually called Lavender Peace. Okay, Lavender Peace comes in the Emotional Wellness one or the Mood Management Kit or by itself, either one. Uh, but like I said, it's called Lavender Peace. And it is a the restful blend. It offers a calming and relaxing aroma, providing a unique aromatic experience combines essential oils that are renowned for creating a restful environment at bedtime lavender cedarwood ylang ylang marjoram roman chamomile vetiver and hawaiian sandalwood doTERRA's lavender piece can help your whole family experience a restful atmosphere before bed diffuse it in the evenings as you all prepare for rest so lavender piece that one and like i said that one is in the emotional wellness kit or uh it is in mood management kit uh, and of course it is in the bedtime bliss kit so that it, it is in a few of the kits we have available here is another one that has a different name in australia so the breathe blend or the respiratory blend is called easy air in Australia. Um, I have it right here. Not there, that's peppermint. Easy air. So it's called Easy Air in Australia, but it is the same, uh, the same thing as the breathe in the States. Easy Air is a remarkable oil blend, including laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, lemon, and cardamom. And it can help maintain feelings of clear airways and easy breathing while also minimising the effects of seasonal threats. And it's a fantastic oil blend to diffuse at night when you want to promote feelings of clear airways or to refresh any room. And again, Easy Air or Breathe, Easy Air comes in, home, uh, the Home Essentials Kit, the Family Essentials Kit and the Nature Solutions Kit. And it's in the active sports and the seasonal wellness. So it's in a lot of different kits because it does so many uh, amazing things. This one's really sweet. I really like this one. And it does come in a five mil bottle. This is Cheer. Cheer is one of the emotional aromatherapy oils. So it's the uplifting blend. So that's where it fits in that wheel of six uh, emotional aromatherapy oils that we have. Fresh and Bright doTERRA Cheer uplifting blend combines citrus and spice oils like wild orange, clove, lemon myrtle, ginger and cinnamon bark. And it provides an uplifting, cheerful aroma that you can reach for when in need of a little more sunshine in your home. Instead of using an air freshener, a plug-in, um, diffuse doTERRA cheer in the morning before your kids go to school to set the tone for the day. You could also add a few drops uh, to your favourite on-the-go diffuser and place in your car as you drive to work or run errands. So like the pilot diffuser, that one fits in the drink holder of your car and runs off the USB port. If you don't have one of those, don't stress, a cotton bud will do the same trick. Okay, you can uh, put a cotton bud, probably not in the, the grill because they're, they're usually made of plastic, so you don't want to put it there. But you can put it under the seat or put a drop of the oil on the, uh, the seat if your seat's a material. So few great ways that you can use that one in the car and so cheer is a lovely one to use that way and it is it's a real uplifting one okay adaptive adaptive is amazing this is my one of my new favorites I have lots of favorites but I've been using quite a bit of this one lately okay when occasional stress and tension occur uh 
Adaptive Calming Blend is a natu natural solution you can rely on. Combines wild orange, lavender, copai bar, spearmint, magnolia, rosemary and neroli to create a beautiful relaxing aroma. Adaptive can assist you throughout a demanding day. Diffuse it in your office to promote a calm, centred atmosphere during your yoga practice or even while the kids are doing homework. It engenders the, in, an environment of tranquility. No matter the task, adaptive can be your stabilising hand. And uh, beautiful oil. I've got the roller. I've been using it a lot lately. Okay, then we have over here, we have the beautiful balance blend. Uh, now, adaptive comes in the emotional wellness kit, okay, as well as by itself, but it's in the emotional wellness kit. Balance is also in the emotional wellness kit. So balance, adaptive, and which one did we just do? Oh, lavender piece are in the emotional wellness kit. Balance is also in the mood management kit with the lavender piece, elevation and citrus bliss. The doTERRA grounding blend, appropriately named Balance, offers a tranquil harmonising aroma to your environment. This oil brings together spruce, hoewood, frankincense, blue tansy, blue chamomile and osmanthus to create a woody sweet scent. Many love experiencing the aromatic benefits of doTERRA balance every day. This is another oil blend that makes an amazing alternative to your plugins. Simply diffuse doTERRA balance in the morning as you start your day in the office while you work or in the kitchen to bring an inviting aroma into your space. I love this one and my favourite is three drops of this with three drops of tangerine and if you don't have tangerine, wild orange does the same job or very similar, smells great. So I love those ones. Okay, lightening your load. Here we go. When discussing toxic load, it can feel overwhelming to think about how many toxins you're being exposed to by just living, eating, drinking, cleaning and breathing. If you'd never considered the amount of toxins you're exposed to each day, that's okay. As discussed, the body has in uh, has incredible filtration systems to protect you from the toxins you encounter. And now that you know how many toxins are around, where they come from and how to fight them, you're on your way to a better home. You don't have to feel powerless or hopeless when it comes to your well-being or the well-being of those you love. With the power of nature at your side, you can truly take control of the toxins that may permeate your home and instead enjoy clean, natural living. And if you do want uh, some more ideas, come and chat to us. We're always here to help and guide you. That's right. Thank you, Dean. Keep it natural. I agree. See, Dean's like the cooking guru. He's right into cooking from scratch and, you know, using fresh herbs and spices in his cooking. And he does that for the exact same reason that I talk about oils all the time, because they are something that we have control of. And once we know what we're doing and what the alternatives do, that's why we do this. And uh, thank you, Joan. Thank you for sharing the love. So we, we love it when Joan pops into class. And I know that Joan likes using the oils in her um, in her space. And she lives out on a farm now. So she's very much used to that whole uh, fresh air thing happening as well, which is uh, which is amazing because, yeah, like I said, it, it just gets, the it can get overwhelming. I, I remember years and years and years ago, so we've been in Campbelltown, I have no idea, a long, long time now, since the uh, beginning of the 90s, I think, and back then MacArthur Square was much smaller 
than it is now. In fact, I even remember when there was a gap between MacArthur Square and Big W, okay, and the train station. That, that was like three different blocks. It was very, very different to what it is now. But it's always been two-storey. And when you walked upstairs, it used to end just near David, where David Jones is and still is. And upstairs opposite David Jones, there used to be, I don't know, a hippie shop. It was like my favourite shop. I loved it. But it would always set off a headache. It would always set off a bit of a sneezy thing. And mum couldn't even go there. Like she would get halfway down the square and she'd be able to smell if that shop had had a new shipment of stuff in. You know, they had all the cane wear and incense and all different things. Being the 90s, we were still very much um, into that whole synthetic smell. We didn't re know back then what that synthetic smell was, where it came from, how it was made and how it affected our bodies. So we do need to look at the toxins. I think when you start researching the toxins and how your body reacts, you'll find a lot of um, terminology like hormone disruptors, okay? Hormone disruptors, it doesn't even sound good. So anything that is a hormone disruptor can't be good for males and females, you know, because hormones are what run all the regulatory systems within our bodies. So if we're disrupting those, then we're not doing our bodies a, a service. We're doing them a, an injustice, a disservice. So, yeah, again, something to think about. So tonight we only touched on it and literally talked about using uh, a few oils in your diffusers just to, you know, to replace those plugins and things. Um, there are lots and lots of other ones. If you go back through the videos or through the classes recently, you will find uh, the video. I, I, I think I've actually pinned it to one of the pages, uh, the video by Lauren Bush. That one is, that was mind mind boggling. It just opened my eyes. It was, you know, reminded me what I used to do so much of and I'd gotten a bit lazy. So now it's time to uh, get back onto that one and really look at the toxins that we use in our house. And like I said, you're not going to get rid of them all. You know, when I go to the mall, I want to know that they've killed the germs before I go to the bathroom or touch the handrail or whatever. So I will, I, I still absorb some toxins when I'm out. But I'm not continuing that when I get home. So if I can get rid of them from my shampoo, my conditioner, my skincare, the cleaning products I use in my house, um, the detergents, all those sort of things, then I'm I'm ahead of the game. I'm I'm making a positive impact on myself and my family. I talked about like that formaldehyde releasing agent in detergents. Okay, so in detergents, we wash our clothes and you think that we've cleaned them and they're dry and that they're all okay now. There's no, no chemicals in them. But whatever you wash them in is still embedded in the fibres, okay, which is why if you use a cheap, nasty uh, detergent that's full of chemical stuff, what you will find is as your body warms up, and your clothes then start to release the chemicals that are in them. That's why some people get um, adverse reactions to, you know, their clothing. And you'll find that it's often in heat spots, like, you know, bits where uh, where the skin folds. Uh, you'll find, you know, because like, look, I've got like three layers up there because this shirt comes down here, so it's always up here. So if I'm going to get an irritation, this area is, is a pretty common spot to do that but it's because as I've been wearing my clothes all day they've all warmed up and the the toxins have been released and you know it's the fold of my skin they've got nowhere to go so my skin wears the the brunt of it and it isn't always a positive uh thing anyway that is enough of my soapbox for tonight uh I've got a price list here somewhere uh just to quickly show you Okay, maybe I don't. I'm sure I do. I saw it. Here it is. It's all right. 
Okay, so this is the new current uh, starter pack list. You'll see on the front it has all the different starter packs. Right down, oh, starting with the basic wellness boxes and the emotional aromatherapy pack, uh, sorry, the emotional wellness pack, then your home essentials, the kits that have got like your On Guard, Easy Air, Breathe, Peppermint, Lavender, all your, your 10 basic oils are in those kits there. Down here, emotional one, and this one over here has cleaning products. Where are we? This one. Cleaning products and foaming hand wash, all the doTERRA ones that are based on the On Guard and uh, relatively chem nasty chemical free. So they're all there. And if you're not sure what they are, just inside, it does give you a, a breakdown of all the different products that, that are in each of those kits. And literally, that's the form we need. We just need those details there and which kit you're interested in. Now, why do we do that? 25% off. Okay, so 25% off the recommended retail price. Plus, you get points, which, you know, if you build up points on a regular basis, then what you get is free product. You get opportunity to have the free product of the month, every month, and you've got wholesale prices for 12 months. Now, that wholesale prices literally means you can order what you want, when you want, okay? And having your own wholesale account, that's what it means, okay? What you want, when you need it, okay? Order it, delivered straight to your door. If you want to join the Loyalty Rewards Program, which to me just makes sense because, you know what, if I'm not buying it from doTERRA, I'm buying it at the supermarket. The supermarket aren't rewarding me the same way doTERRA does. So I get my laundry detergent, some of my cleaning products. I get my skincare, my shampoo, conditioner, uh, skincare, I mentioned that one, body lotions. I get all of those through doTERRA. So it is way more than just an oil company if you go through the products or, you know, jump onto the group and see because we post about all the different things all the time. But if you look at getting those things on a regular basis, then you save 25%. 20 you get a percentage rebate of the points value of each product. You also then get free product of the month and access to other freebies throughout the um, th throughout the month and the year. So there are lots and lots of ways, uh, reasons to have a starter kit. Okay, now you don't have to have a starter kit. If you sort of go, I just want this, this and this, that's fine. Do a wholesale membership, get those three products and the next order you do, well, you'll get them at wholesale price. Your, your membership will be $35, which is wavered if you get any of the standard uh, starter kits. And next time you order, you've already got your membership because your membership's good for 12 months. And at the end of 12 months, if, uh, if you choose to renew, it's $25 to renew for another 12 months and they send you a $37 bottle of peppermint to say thank you for renewing. So it's awesome. Can't go wrong. I think it's a brilliant idea and I'm here to help you understand that and know how to use your account and how to get the best out of it. And so is Kana, Faye, all our upline. Talk to any of our team. We do have um, freebies for joining. I did mention that, a few different things, and access to um, a private section on, a, on the website and a few other, uh, a private Facebook group to help you uh, make the most of what you've got. Now, that way, if you can see that, where are we? i got to love this whole virtual reality. <laughs> Let's talk about virtual reality. We won't go there, Sarah. It's all good. Okay, so there. You'll see my little scan code there. You can grab your phone if you're watching from your PC. Grab your phone and scan that. And that'll pop, pop me into your comments and it will give you the websites, the Facebook group, the Facebook pages, just how to find us, how to contact us, where to go for information and learning. So you can explore the different uh, things that are in that and follow along with, which uh, follow along the ones that suit you. Okay, next week, uh, first week of the month. So we will be basics back to demystifying aromatherapy and making it accessible to everybody so we will be doing the aromatherapy nope 
the essential oils made easy class next week thanks for joining me and we will see you next week oh sunday down at bulleye at the um love love angels light uh psychic fair down at bulleye uh pcyc so uh if you're in the area drop in and say hello all right see you next week